The New York Rangers are down in sunny South Florida for a Friday night matchup with the Panthers, and then we'll face the Tampa Bay Lightning on Saturday. So we're going to preview this weekend's slate with the New York Post Rangers beat writer Molly Walker. Molly, thank you so much for coming on. So first of all, can we get an update on Jacob Truba? He left Wednesday's game after a collision with Tom Wilson, but was back at practice on Thursday. So how's he doing now? He's totally fine. He said he's all good to go. He made the trip to Florida. He didn't participate in the Rangers optional skate today, but that's not out of the ordinary. He was at the rink, and I do expect him to play tonight. Well, that's definitely good news. I know fans are hoping to hear that. So the Rangers there in Florida for a back-to-back -back with the Panthers and Lightning. First up, the Panthers down in Sunrise. The Rangers will have to get past Florida goalie Sergei Bobrovsky, who's he's having an excellent season, and he leads the East with 16 wins. So how are they going to make it happen? They got to make them work. They make got to make them go side to side. They want to get those extra uh, opportunities, second chances, and just make life hard for him. I, I think the Rangers are, are at their best when when they are going north and and challenging goaltenders to go side to side. But uh, Bobrovsky does pose a, a pretty big challenge for them, and it's not going to get any easier uh, when they get to Tampa with Andre Vasilevsky probably. Um, but it'll be a good test for the Rangers. Absolutely. Two really good goalies they'll be up against. So the Lightning, on the other hand, they've been a little more inconsistent so far this season. They've dealt with injuries, including to uh, Vasilevsky, but he's back, and Mikhail Sergachev may also return to the lineup just in time to face the Rangers. So how can the Blue Shirts really exploit all these inconsistencies to come away with a win on the second night of a back-to-back? -back? I think they're just going to want to be the first team to get to their game, and I also feel like the Rangers – when they're at their best, they're making life difficult on their opponents in the neutral zone. They're turning turnovers into offense and just going right back into the other team's zone. And uh, it's just about com the commitment to the structure as well, I think. And, and against a high-powered team like the Lightning, the Rangers stars are going to have to be their stars as well because we've seen the Lightning and their top players can take over games as well. So that'll be a key for them as well. Absolutely. I mean, we know those, that, that team still has some, some pretty good players on it. So last one, which of these two teams do you think will pose a bigger threat to the Rangers? I'm really curious to see how the Rangers stack up against the Panthers. I think that they play a very physical, in-your-face kind of game, especially behind a guy like Matthew Kachuk. And the Rangers can, can find themselves getting bullied from time to time from some of these tougher teams. So I think it's going to be a big test for them against the Panthers there. They're a different kind of team. They're a different beast. So it's, it's good to see them against different types of teams like that. Yeah, absolutely. The Rangers are going to close out 2023 with a couple really good games. A lot to look forward to. Molly, thank you so much for joining us and enjoy your time down in Florida. Thanks so much.